everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be my first ever reading vlog. So bear with me because I don't really, I've never done a reading vlog before. So who knows what this will turn out like, but I'm going to be reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. At this point, I just bought a sequel today. So if I'm like obsessed with this book, this reading vlog probably will also include the sequel, but the sequel obviously wasn't in my TBR, so we'll see how I feel. I've had this book for... Oh, I see a cat outside. I've had it for a couple months and I haven't gotten a chance to read it yet, so I put it on my TBR, so I made myself read it, so I'm very excited, so let's just start reading if you like this video and want to see more book content from me make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up comment down below recommendations any videos you want to see from me and if you want to see a reading vlog for when the third book in this series comes out so anyways let's just get into the video i just finished chapter three what i will say is this map is low-key confusing <laughs> The colors are different enough that it was like really confusing me for a bit. If I figured it out now, but I feel like this is kind of a confusing map. I don't know if this stuff is considered mixed media or whatever, but I do really like this aspect of the book with the log entry and stuff. I think it's pretty interesting, so I'm 30 pages in and I'm quite excited for the rest of this book. Also, I have like two nice bookmarks and they're in books right now that I kind of softly DNF'd. So I just have these chapters, things to give out when you buy clothes or when you buy books for me. Hey guys, so I thought maybe I should do a, if you can hear my cat purring, she's right here. Oh, she's so cute. Anyways. <laughs> I thought I should do a better job at introing this video because it wasn't very good when I did. Yeah, I just thought I'd do a better intro today because I don't think my intro to this was very good whatsoever. I've obviously already started because it's a couple days later. Today is Friday the 11th, I think. I don't ever know what day it is, so I could be very wrong. Page 62 of this book, it's like 380 something pages. So if you don't know what this book is about, Sorry, my cat is being crazy right now, so you're gonna hear her meow in the background. But if you don't know what this book is about, we're gonna try and balance you on my bed, even though that's probably not the smartest idea. As everyone in Fairview knows the story, pretty unpopular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Saul Singh, who then killed himself. It was all anyone could talk about, and five years later, Pip sees how the tragedy still haunts her town. But she can't shake the feeling that there was more to the story. She knew Sal when she was a child, and he was always so kind to her. How could he possibly have been a killer? Now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project. At first, just to cast doubt on their original investigation. But soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove Sal innocent. And the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip... My cat wants my plants, so she just won't stop me. <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, I'm sorry. It's just not going to stop because she wants to eat one of my plants and that's not going to happen. And the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers and now her own life might be in danger. This is the story of an investigation turn obsession full of twists and turns with an ending you'll never expect. I don't know if I should make this spoiler. I'm probably going to put like spoilers in here and then... At the end, I'll do a no spoiler review. I've seen Mel Reads do that, and I think that's probably smart because I want to talk about this in depth. I don't want to just like talk about it in code. So probably before this even happens, I'll have put in a time stamp of spoiler free review. Okay. Okay. So I think throughout this video, I'm gonna say who I think it is at certain different points in the book. Um. If you don't know, mystery, thriller, any kind of book, true crime, anything kind of like this are definitely my favorite kinds of books. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. If you look at my bookshelf, it's almost like exclusively mystery. I'm okay. 
at like figuring out the twist who it's gonna be and whatever sometimes i don't get it like obviously i'm not gonna un guess every single um mystery or like killer or whatever but i've read a fair amount that like sometimes i can so i thought here we will guess as we go so like i said i'm on page 62 um i read the for this for two days Yesterday, I don't think I really even got any clips. Well, let's say who I think it is right now. I think it's um, really bad with names. My theory on this is based off another book, but I don't want to say what book it is because it kind of spoils. Right now, my theory is Mr. Ward, <laughs> which totally is like, I'm going to maybe watch this back and be like, you dumb. But it's based off of another book, like I said, Dad. He was a teacher at school for Saul and a little bit for Addie. I have a theory that maybe they were having like a little um thing going on him and Addie or Andy. I'm really bad at names. Andy. Him and Andy maybe had like a little thing going on and then you know so he ended things to why I think Saul killed himself. I don't know how that fits into the theory. I'm hoping maybe I can like do some serious damage in this book this weekend, but I also do have to do school. If you've seen my March TBR, I only have five books on it, which is still a lot for me personally, but I only have five books on it because March is like insanely busy with school. So I only read when like I have a chance, like I have to put school first, obviously. Um, but yeah, but yesterday I went shopping and I wasn't gonna buy any books because I have a full bookshelf. This whole bookshelf is books I have not read and not counting this or this area here, like these areas here, I didn't count those books because they're about psych and stuff and they're not gonna be, they're not like books I'm just gonna sit down and read. I don't know how to describe it, but they just don't count. I have like about 70 books here, 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 and I have some from the booklet book outlet on the way so i have so many to read but i got this is a sneak peek into a book haul i don't know if that'll be posted before or after this but this is the second book to a good girl's guide to murder i don't want to read the back because i feel like it's gonna give it away if you hear my cat purring sorry but yeah this is the second book and the third one is coming out in september so I thought maybe I maybe will read this in the book. I will maybe read this in this vlog. I guess you'll know from the title. But we'll see how much um, footage I have from reading this book. And if the ending makes me really want to read this book pretty quick. Or I'll do another reading vlog on this one. Maybe in April. Because I do kind of want to stick to my TBR this month. Um, I might not. But I do kind of want to try and stick to my tbr so we'll see what i decide actual book and i like how it's red and white that's so pretty if you live in canada and you have chapters near you it's 20 dollars right now um it's originally 24 in canadian so four dollars off like that's pretty good hopefully this reading vlog turns out okay i really like i should watch some probably to be better at vlogging um, or doing reading vlogs because I don't know how much of like my everyday life to put into this or if you just want to hear my book thoughts so it's like Friday at like 12 so I need to go back downstairs and do school but I thought I'd just do a better job of describing what I'm doing I'll talk to you probably tonight when I read hopefully I'll get to like at least oh I think actually today there's reading sprints from Mel Reed. So actually, I think I should do, I'll do pretty good. And I think there's some reading sprints from any ed endings or Christine um on Saturday. So, I think we can do some damage this weekend on this book. So yeah, see you later. It is 8:30. Mel Reed's has been doing sprints since five o'clock my time julissa christine and Kristen are also there but it's on mel's channel they've been on for like three and a half hours but i've only 
done like two and a half sprints with them. I'm in part two of this book and so I figured I probably should talk about my thoughts. I'm already a decent amount into part two. We'll just pretend we're, I'm not. So at the end of part one is when Pip and her friends are camping and someone leaves a note in her sleeping bag to stop digging. Also close to the end of part one, Pippa talks to Emma and Chloe in the end of this section and Chloe's giving me the vibes that she's hiding something. Just thought I'd put that out there. <laughs> I just can't wait until all of my theories are wrong and then I'm like, what did I do? Okay, maybe it was Chloe or maybe it was Emma. I don't really remember. But they say something about her um, being murdered and dropped in a hole or something. And like she could just be saying that because everyone assumes that Andy was buried. So she might just be saying that. But like I find that very interesting that she said that because you don't know for sure that she was in a hole. You know? Part 2 starts on page 103. And I'm currently on page 136. So I'll just give you my little thoughts on right now because I don't know if I'm going to read anymore tonight. And then my theory comes up where she said something about Mr. Ward and Andy and then Andy being mad at Mr. Ward. And so then the theory happens by Pippa to see if Elliot Ward is Andy's older boyfriend. So obviously that's not going to be the truth because they're not going to bring that back bat that up on page 100 and that be what happens so that's annoying but whatever first one wrong and when she talks to mr ward it is interesting because i think uh, maybe andy's dad like beats her or something because that seems to be why she was so mad at mr ward for telling her dad on her but i could be wrong like that it's just like the vibe that I'm getting. Then you do get the part of where you meet Nat and Daniel De Silva, which I could see um, Daniel doing something, or Nat did something and Daniel covered it up because he's a cop. Knows how to do that. But again, it's page 100 something so I don't think it's actually gonna be either of those people. That's where I'm at. I'm on chapter 15. Um, I just muted the um, sprints right now because I'm gonna go, well because it's doing this, but now I'm gonna stop and go in the hot tub for maybe half an hour and if I come back and they're doing sprints I'll do more but I think I have a pimple on my nose. But I think they'll be done in the sprints by the time I come back in. But yeah. I'm doing sprints for Christine or any endings channel tomorrow morning. So we will check in with you during that. Okay, hi guys. It's the next day at 12 p.m. I am currently watching Christine's sprints. Obviously reading this. They've done two sprints. Um, where like this is the end of the second one i'm on page 190 so i'm just about halfway through the book um i had literally at this point have no theories <laughs> i have no idea who did it so i don't really have anything to say i'm on chapter 21 so i've read six chapters i guess i have nothing to tell you about this because i have no idea who it is which is good but usually I have some theories. And I got other stuff to do today, so I might read like later, but once these sprints are over, I'm gonna stop for a bit. Today's Saturday, so I feel like I could finish this by mon like Monday. I'm behind on my reading goal for the month, or like behind my TBR for the month, so I would like to be done this by Monday. That's all I have to say, sorry. I literally don't have anything to say. It's good. We just met the drug dealer. He knows more than he's saying, but that's all I have to say. All I have to say is, I called it. <laughs> okay, we're on page 353, chapter 
25. Let's just remember the closer to the beginning of this reading blog. Who was my one suspect? Mr. Ward. Did I know how he did it? No. But I did I know it was him? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm so very proud of myself. I mean, I didn't know all the things. I still don't actually know everything that happened. But I'm at the part where Pippa just went to his old house where he's keeping Andy. And the police just came. And at the end of the chapter, she goes up to the attic where Andy is supposed to be. And she is saying that it's not Andy. So I'm just very proud of myself for figuring that out. If you like this book, definitely read Two Can Keep a Secret from Karen M. McManus. I feel like I even like that one better. I'm gonna probably finish this tonight because it's only like 30 pages left and then do my final review tomorrow. I'm like 10 pages from being done and so I just had to sneak in here again and say I'm so smart. Sorry if you can hear the shower. Um, because I didn't know Becca did it. Okay, didn't get that one, but I knew, I knew Andy was hidden at that old house that Becca was writing a paper, or a story about. I'm a freaking genius. I'm gonna write my own book. <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of myself I got that one as well. Alright, hi guys. So I thought I'd sit down here and talk about my thoughts. Now, post doing this, I kind of wish I would have, I've never annotated a book before, but I kind of wish I did just for this video. So next time I do a reading vlog, which will probably be for the sequel of this, which is right here, um, I probably will just so I can remember all my thoughts because while I, I don't know why I'm out of breath from just talking, um, while I just read this in a couple days, I still don't remember every single thing I thought, obviously. I didn't even put it all on the blog. So, last night I finished this book and I gave it a four stars. I really liked it for the most part. I feel like there were certain parts um, that I felt like I was just reading it to read it, not to, I don't know how to word this, like reading it just because I had to, which I don't want to do, but I find that that was mostly when I was doing sprints with, uh, on like Mel Rhee's channel or Christine's channel, and it was just because I wanted to be a part of the sprints, but I didn't really feel like reading in those moments, so I don't know if it was the book or if it was just me. So, that's one thing, but overall, I think it was pretty good writing, and I liked how there was text messages, and there was different kind of... I don't know if it, I think I said this earlier, I don't know if it's considered mixed media, I don't know what is considered mixed media, but the entry post for her capstone project and emails and text messages and i don't know what else was in here a map the pictures of andy's um planner personally this isn't like my favorite ya mystery i like karen m mcmanus's books better that might be an unpopular opinion because i know this gets super hyped but you know, if I hadn't have read this book last year, obviously before I read this book, I might have liked this book better. They're not the same, but they're similar. It's Two Can Keep a Secret from Karen M. McManus, I mentioned it earlier. I like this version better, but I do recommend this book. Like, I think it's good, and especially for a YA mystery. I'll do a spoiler review, and then we'll do a non-spoiler review. So, spoiler review... <laughs> I obviously, you guys saw, I guessed who it was, but then I did have, like, a part of me that, like, believed that it wasn't him. So I kind of fell for it in the book where she's like, oh, it couldn't have been him. He did this. So I kind of fell for it. But then after that, I literally could not think of who it was. Like, I had no guesses, as you guys saw. So I think it was just because, like, that's the only person that it could be for me. I obviously didn't guess it was Becca, which it all makes sense. Well, I'm was good with it 
with it being Mr. Ward. I feel like they kind of went over the details really quick and like obviously the scene was very quick because the police were coming. But the stuff with Saul, it was just like, it didn't really make sense why he killed him. Like it did, but it didn't. It went over that very quickly and I didn't really like that because I think they should have explored that a little bit more because it was like he made the decision in one second and then did it the next. He just quickly was like, oh, uh, he trusted me. So he walked, he let me in his house. Oh, he trusted me, so he let me take him to the woods. And he trusted me, so he let me put pills in his mouth. You know, but I was just like, kind of like... I think it should be more in depth than that. With the whole part about like the fake, the girl he kidnapped, I guess, in the attic. I don't know, I kind of think that's kind of weird. Well, it would have been okay if they explored it more. Because they were just like, oh, it made him feel better that... He didn't actually kill her, but he couldn't let anyone know that he didn't kill her. I don't really care if it's a happy ending or not, but like in this kind of situation, I kind of wish it was that actually Andy and the attic. I don't know. I just think it would have been like better because then they could have done like a spin-off book of like the three, five years, however long that she was in the attic. Becca just letting her die. Sure. I guess. But why all of a sudden would you ju just like let, when you like let her die, you could literally just be like, I didn't know what to do and then call the cops. Like I know that this whole book wouldn't be a thing. Teens decisions in books like these, I'm just like. Pippa's trying to let her go. She's like, hit the road. I'm letting you get out of the country. I'm not going to tell anyone, but they're going to find out soon. So get out. And... Becca already drugged her and is trying to kill her. You're, you're like not a murderer. You just let your mom die. I mean your sister die. But now you're actually going to kill Pippa for finding that out. So you are a murderer. But also, I also guessed that Andy would be in that old house that she was writing about. I should have put that together, that that's why she didn't want them to make it a bar or whatever they wanted to make it. You know, the ending of this is, you know, it's like happy. I'm not ever like, oh my gosh, like I need a happy ending, like I said. But I'm glad that they did find out that Saul was innocent. Like, you know, they're like... He's innocent, obviously. There wouldn't be this book if he was guilty. But I will say it's like, I'm glad that they did for sure figure that out. Saul and Ravi's dad and mom come to Pippa's house and like thank her and stuff. That was like really cute saying, they're not gonna kill the dog. I wanted to close the book as soon as they said the dog was dead. I know it was an accident, but you do not kill dogs in anything. <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. You do not kill dogs in anything they are innocent so i literally wanted to end this book when i read that i thought i would end this book and instantly want to read the prequel or the not the prequel the sequel but like i don't <laughs> like it's not a cliffhanger or anything that makes you like run out and get the book so that would have been a bit more fun if there was some cliffhanger because like I said, I was almost gonna put the sequel in this vlog, but I don't really feel in any rush to read it. I'm probably gonna read it in April and I'll do a reading vlog for you. I've heard like about Truly Devious, for example. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard that you'll be like, if you just get the first book, you'll be sad that you only have the first book and have to wait for the second and third book to come in the mail or whatever to go and get them. So you wanna like buy them all at once. That's not the case with these, which is fine. Like they're different stories. Yeah, that's my like spoiler review. I think it was good. It wasn't like the best YA mystery I've ever read, but I am excited to, I will be reading the other books. And I will get the third book when it comes out in September, I think. I think it's good, not the best, but I think it's good. So I forgot to do my spoiler free review yesterday. Um, my skin looks beautiful. <laughs> um, but so I thought I'd quickly just come on here and talk about it spoiler free. Sorry if the camera moves a lot because I'm just holding it with my hand because I don't feel like trying to find a place to put my tripod or even to walk upstairs and get my tripod. I'm also making food so if you hear like water boiling in the background, 
sorry. I liked this book. That didn't sound very convincing, but I did like this book. I think it was well written. Here's my thing. I have mentioned this in other videos, but mystery, thriller, um, psychological thrillers, murder mysteries, any kind of thing with a mystery in it is my type of book or my type of movie, TV series. Like it's that's just like a huge interest of mine. So I will say um, I did guess some of the some of the people involved and some of the little twists involved. But I also will say if you like this book, I would totally recommend you read Karen M. McManus's Two Can Keep a Secret. They're very similar but very different. I read Two Can Keep a Secret a few months ago, probably like October, November of 2020, and at this moment I feel like I liked Two of Us, Two Can Keep a Secret better than The Girl's Guide to Murder, but I, I will say Karen M. McManus puts her books into multiple perspectives, so you get the POV of multiple people, which is just one of my favorite things when reading. So that would be probably what puts it over A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, because I feel like they're pretty similar. I like the content of them both and the story of them both. I would give this book, I think I put it as a four stars on my Goodreads. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of in between a 3.5 and a four stars, so that's why I put it at four stars. Just because I don't, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a good book. I'm not like rushing to read the next book. I'm gonna read the next book. I bought it already. I'll probably read it in April, but it's nothing that's like hold me so captive that I need to read that book right now. I kind of didn't love parts of the ending. I feel like parts of the ending and the reveal and stuff were just rushed over but i find that happens a lot in mystery things because the whole book is just figuring it out and then once it's found out it's like a chapter of what happened and so i find that with lots of mystery books so i feel like i should say that it's not just this book but some aspects of it is just kind of rushed over but i do know in the next book they do a podcast so i'm wondering if they talk more in depth about that stuff in the next book or they just don't even mention it. I'm not sure. Would I recommend? Yes. If it's something you like. I would even more recommend if you don't read them often because it's even better when you don't guess who did it or like even an aspect of the mystery. Like I don't want to like make it sound super negative and like that it wasn't a good book because it was really good. It's just I don't know, maybe I would have liked it better if I didn't guess some of the stuff, probably. That's basically my main issue. Or that I didn't read To Can Keep a Secret first, first, right? So, overall, it was a good book. I'll probably do another reading vlog for Good Girl, Bad Blood, or whatever it's called. Just because um, I know it's going to be completely different from this book and from To Can Keep a Secret. So maybe I won't guess it this time. But, and I want to do a reading vlog for the third, so I might as well do a reading vlog for the second one, you know? But if you like this reading vlog, make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below other videos you want to see from me, other reading vlogs you want to see from me, and what your thoughts on this book are if you've read it or if you're going to read it. Turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!